What's up, guys? Today we have the end of an era. You might have noticed in yesterday's video that uh, the back wall looks a little different. I mean, we're missing some stuff. There's stuff kind of like behind me on the ground. Where is it? Where is it? Point the way there. Uh, I still can't point the right way. Yeah, I'm still pointing the wrong way, but we'll figure it out. There's stuff on the ground. The wall is not. It looks different. Why is that? We have officially moved on from a very important part of the channel. And that important thing is my old apartment. My old apartment is where I recorded basically every video you've seen on my channel, unless you've watched my dueling stuff or my very first openings, like a couple of openings, then every video was recorded there, unless you count vlogs, but you know, I was living in that apartment. So things have changed quite a bit and I've moved out of the apartment. I am now in a new house. Chelsea and I bought, a, not new, we bought a house. It's not new, you know, it wasn't built in 2023, but, or 24 now, I guess. Uh, so we've moved out and I actually have way more space. But as you guys know, if you've ever moved before, it takes a very, very long time. So I've been trying to get set up and everything, but it's taken a while, but it's a very exciting update. We're moving out of the apartment, which it's a little sad because that's where we pulled, you know, the red eyes, black dragon out of the LOB box, the blue eyes, shining dragon, all those really cool pulls were in that apartment. But the more exciting thing is I now can move around in my own space because before it was a tiny room. I'll probably show a video of what it looked like before I left in this video or maybe in another. Actually, I might save that for another video. When we do a little tour or something at some point, which we're not going to do in this video because I'm not editing this video at all. I watched the one from last year. I literally did not edit it, so I'm doing that again because, I mean, why edit this kind of thing? So we'll, we'll show that in a future video if you, well, if you want to see it. So if you want to see it, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see maybe a, a tour and maybe like a, a little flashback to what my room looked like before I left, which a lot of you guys asked for, and I never did because I couldn't move. There was nowhere to go. There's stuff everywhere. So I'll show you. We have I have a couple rooms now that I'm using, which is pretty exciting. So a little sad that that's coming to an end, but very excited about the future with the new house. So I'm also going to bundle that announcement in because I want to make an announcement so you guys know, hey, I'm moving, I'm out, I'm, I'm in a new spot with a little channel update for 2024. So back in 2023, I did a channel update at the beginning of the year and I want to check in with how we did. So one of the big things that was not channel related, but I let you guys know as a personal thing, I wasn't going to drink soda in 2023. And a lot of you guys who have been to the streams have asked, hey, how's the, how's the no soda going? And I've answered that. But if you have not been there to see those answers, I actually did not drink soda all year, so I actually achieved that goal. I I think at one point I accidentally drank a carbonated beverage because I didn't know. I took one drink of it, and then I was like, that tastes like carbonation, so I didn't drink it. So technically I did drink but uh, the carbonated beverage or whatever, but I also, you know, this is the intention that matters, you know, I didn't drink it the rest of the time. So I think I did really well doing that. Another one was uh, my schedule. I was going to try to wake up at a different time. I'm getting a call from Chelsea right now. Sorry, Chelsea. Um, if she calls again, it's serious, so we got to answer, but, uh, what was I saying? Yes. So I was going to wake up at a different time, try to get my schedule more normal. Cause if you wake up super late, then it gets it, you know, like my previous schedule was wake up at noon and then everyone's been awake for seven hours, you know, and it just, your schedules don't align very well. And then you're awake at 4am and stuff like that. So I was trying not to do that. I, I wasn't completely successful with this one. I did pretty well at the beginning of the year and most of the way throughout the year at waking up at a normal time to kind of align my schedule with normal working hours and people at the post office open and stuff like that. But there were days where I definitely did not make that happen. So this was not as successful as the soda. I'm going to try to implement this again in 2024 to at least have that pressure on me to do it. So that one, those are the check-ins for that. I don't think I really talked about my like YouTube subscriber goals. I had those. We didn't hit those, by the way. We'll talk about how we did this year. But uh, we're, we're going to talk about how the channel did. And the channel back in 2022, we had 28.1 million views. This year, we actually had 20 or 31.9. So we actually went up in terms of views, which was pretty awesome, especially since, you know, the market for Yu-Gi-Oh!, the interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! is down a little bit. So having that go up was pretty cool. But you have to consider that the year before we didn't have shorts all year and short well, we did I just wasn't posting them. this year I had shorts all year So a lot of those are shorts views which don't really count as much in terms of like monetary value in terms of uh, You know gaining subscribers and stuff like that But it was pretty awesome to see that the shorts were doing well and stuff like that And speaking of that we had a four and a half million view short which was a record for me I've never had a four and a half million view video the most we'd had on a regular video was like two million on the top ten best trading card pulls uh, so this one was like went crazy. So it was really cool. And 
we only gained, we didn't, uh, I say only, last year we had 68.5K subs gained. This year we only gained 44 and a half, which at this point, I mean, I've reached 220, what are we, whatever we're at right now, which is a very high number for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm super happy with that. I'm very happy with you guys watching the channel and stuff. So it, it, it's kind of coming to a slowdown, you know, which I think is pretty normal, but obviously i'm excited about growing so hopefully we can we can bump that back up next year we'll have to see i mean i'm doing my best but you can't really control how youtube goes you just kind of have to go with the flow because sometimes it'll be a bad week you just got to keep posting that's why i post every day for the last uh, over a thousand days so that's just a little update for you guys pretty cool to see the 32 million basically that was a pretty cool uh view count and hopefully that'll continue. So throughout last year, we had the 25th anniversary stuff. The year before we did a, the every pack opening for 150K, which was pretty awesome. This year we didn't do anything like that crazy for the specials, but we did have the 25th anniversary stuff all year. I was trying to keep up with all those different uh, uh, like releases and stuff. I think it was a pretty awesome year. Some of the stuff I liked more than others, you can see my top 10 video. Uh, I'm not editing the video, so who knows if I'll remember to put this here, but I did the top 10 sets of 2023. Go check that out if you missed it. There were some I really liked, some I didn't. I think Konami did pretty well on some and not so well on others, but that's just how it goes. And we also did Guess That Price Season 1 for, I think it actually started technically in 2021, but a lot of the episodes were this year. The series actually had over 800,000 views, which was pretty amazing. I was not expecting the series to really get that popular. The Moist Critical episode was the biggest. I mean, surprise, surprise, Moist Critical is big. He's a very big YouTuber. 200,000 views on that one. So it was about a quarter of the views, but there was a lot of other people that even if the views didn't do that well, we got some really cool creators on there. And we've started up, if you have not seen, Guess That Price season two. We've changed up the format a little bit so a way that I think is actually more fun than the previous one. And we're gonna have some returning guests, some new guests, some people that you guys have requested already in the first episode, I've already messaged and aligned with. So get excited about that if you like Guess That Price. I really like doing it. It's a nice change up from doing an opening because we do openings basically every day. So doing something different and Yu-Gi-Oh related as well, it's kind of hard for me because I don't do like gaming, like the actual dueling content very often, which I think would be pretty cool to maybe do some live duels or something like that now that I have more room. We'll have to see if we do that in the future. But Overall, guess that price was super successful, and I think uh, season two is going to be even more fun. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. Go check out Simo's uh, episode already. Me and Simo did the first episode. It's pretty cool. So it, uh, I do, do want to talk about one more video that we uploaded this year and just reflect on it. The Yu-Gi-Oh has a big problem video was actually, I think, my most impactful video in terms of the Yu-Gi-Oh community because every time I would go to a event after that people would say oh i really loved your video about the the big problem or whatever and then i even see people regurgitating what i said back to me like sometimes i'll say you know i'll put up a short or something that has a, a price on there and then somebody will comment yeah but konami's destroying this stuff or whatever and i'm like you know i made that video right so that that happens sometimes and it's pretty cool to see like if i have noticed a problem and others have noticed a problem and i made a video about it that people actually see it and relate and they think, oh yeah, that's that's probably true. I think that we probably need to get this fixed. So who knows if it'll get to Konami's ears. I am I would guess they saw the video, maybe not the everybody at Konami, but I'm sure somebody at Konami saw it because based on the feedback I was getting like in person, not just like on in the comments, people were saying, I really liked that video. That was a great video. You know, it brought to light some really important stuff. I hope they saw it and I hope that they fix that, you know, and make it, you know, for all the stuff we bought, I'm not gonna reiterate what was in the video, but you guys saw it. So that was pretty cool to see that kind of impact. It, it had 150,000 views, which is less than some of the other views or some of the other uh, videos on the channel, but I feel like more people watched it and like, you know, remembered it versus like some of our, like every pack opening is super exciting. Not everybody necessarily remembers every second of that video because they are very long. But if you know, if you wanna go watch it, go check those out. We have two of them, so very cool. So I wanted to talk about that. Now we'll do a little, update on like twitch this year i oh another goal i forgot to bring this up last year i did i said i was going to do twitch three days a week and i did not do it every week but up until about i think it was november when i got sick right before the whatnot stream i had basically done it every week i think there was one where i was gone i did like two days but november i missed like a week and a half because i couldn't even talk so reasonable and then december i missed some because of the move so I haven't been streaming the last like week or week and a half, something like that on Twitch right now. But we've been pretty consistent on there. I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that, especially since I've basically been doing Pokemon content and the the few 
dedicated viewers are there, but not many of you guys watch the Twitch stream. So I'm proud of myself for sticking to it, even though it's not necessarily like a monetary thing that we're making money back from. The good side of the Twitch streams, besides just hanging out with the, you know, big fans of the channel, which I really appreciate you guys, Goldie, Unholy Fat Man, uh, let's try to think of some other ones. Europa, thank you guys for being at a lot of the streams. There's some more people that I'm that I'm not mentioning. I know they're going to be sad because there's only like 20 of them. So all you guys who are there all the time, I really appreciate you guys for coming out to the Twitch streams. We mostly, mostly do Pokemon for the Pokerox channel. And the Pokerox channel has actually done really well this year. It gained like three or 4,000 subscribers. It's up to 5,300. We had two huge videos that did super well. I think it would be doing even better. I just don't have that much time to actually put into making videos because those videos take really long because you got to do an entire run, condense it down. I have an editor that's working with me. He's doing a great job, but I, he can only work as fast as I can get him the stuff, which sometimes it can take a while. So I'm really happy with how Pokerux is doing. I think it's going to continue to do well if we keep putting out quality content like we have. If you have not yet checked it out and you like Pokemon challenge content, not Pokemon trading cards, a lot of people are like, when are you going to post an opening? I won't be posting openings on Pokerux. I'll probably post a Pokemon opening here before Pokerux because here is trading cards and it makes more sense. So if you haven't checked that out and you like Pokemon challenge stuff, go check it out because we're going to be doing more stuff. I'm working on another video right now. We're our far, we're currently on the farthest run into Pokemon Radical Red I've ever done. So I'm super excited because that game is super hard. I'm on the easy mode. I know I'm not on hardcore mode. It's too hard for me. Okay, guys, I might get there one day. And finally, I think Rux and Live. Uh, we did, we're doing Rux and Live a lot last year. I, or the year before 2023, 2022. Uh, but I just didn't post a lot there this year because we basically pivoted to all Pokemon content on the on Twitch. Not always, but basically. So there wasn't anything to put there. I am eventually going to put out a chicken sandwich tier list video that I did with my brother uh, like six months ago. But who knows when that'll happen. There's just too many other things to upload. So that's just another thing. Rux and Live, it's dead right now. Might come back in the future. So don't unsubscribe. Who knows? It might it might come back. It, it won't be, you know, you don't need to unsubscribe because I'm not posting, so it's not going to be annoying. So maybe it'll come back at some point. I think we've gone on long enough with the channel update. You guys know we've moved in now. Super exciting. You saw a video yesterday with this background, so I'm wondering, we haven't posted that video yet. I'm wondering how many of you guys are going to be like, what's going on with this background? And uh, this is the answer. So thank you guys so much for the support in 2023 and previously all the way back to when we started the channel, basically 2019 when we started doing the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG content. So I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. We're gonna continue to basically do what we've been doing, add, getting Grass that price back, and hopefully adding some other cool wrinkles now that I have more space. And uh, that is really it for this video. If you have questions for me, make sure to put them in the comments. I wanna know, you know, if you have an idea for something you think I should do in the future, I, I might not do it but I might also do it. So I might read it and think that's a good idea, or maybe that's an idea that I could spin off and change to something that I would really want to do. So let me know your ideas in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel in any way that you do it, whether it be a Patreon, shout out to all my Patreon slash YouTube members, whether it be watching, whether it be subscribing, whether it be uh, people just donating to streams such as Ian. Thank you, Ian, for all your donations this year on the big, and last year for all the big uh, videos. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.